Welcome to HP Tuner's GM Gen 5 training part 7. In this training module, we're going to take a look at working with the repository feature and the comparison feature in our VCM editor software. We're going to have a lot to cover. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at using the repository feature from the HP Tuner's website, as well as taking a look at using the comparison feature found in the VCM editor software. Both of these go hand in hand because if we're dealing with a vehicle that's been modified already and another tuner has calibrated and tuned the vehicle, you want to see what they've changed and compare it against a stock file from GM. So we can use a comparison feature to illustrate the difference between a stock file and the modified file, but we need to go and come up with a stock equivalent file. Now I provided some stock equivalent files in our training course folder under the sample calibration files section. However, I'm not going to have every single stock equivalent file that's going to be available. So if I don't have that in the folder, then you're going to have to go to the repository to download a stock equivalent file so you can use it for the comparison feature. Let's take a look at how to use the repository first and then we'll move into how the comparison feature works. We'll actually look at a modified file versus a stock equivalent file. So the first thing we're going to do here is go into the HB Tuners website. I'm on the front page of the website, hbtuners.com. I'm signed into my account that's associated with my MPVI2 cable. We can see up at the top here, welcome Jeffrey Evans. I have logged in and signed into my account. If you don't have an account with HP Tuners, you're going to have to recreate one at this time in order to work with the repository feature or to be able to go in and register MPVI2 cable. You definitely want to have that, uh, that, that account set already. So I have that. I'm already signed in. I'm assuming at this point you have your account set and you're already ready to sign. You're signed in or you're going to be going to sign in at this point and we're able to click on your name here. So welcome Jeffrey Evans is what we want to click on. That takes us into another section here and it's going to take us into our my account section. This is everything associated with my account that I have created with HP Tuners. If I go down here to the fourth option, we're going to find this option here, Tune Repository. This is where we can download stock equivalent files. Let's go in here and click on Tune Repository. Now when we do this, it's going to take us into another window for Tune Repository. Now in here, it's going to allow us to start to take a look at specific year, make, model, and then breaking it down based on engine and transmission for calibration files. Now the repository, again, is going to be based on users uploading equivalent stock equivalent files or even modified files. And they're usually going to be saying if the car has been modified, if it's been tuned, they'll list the, the modifications that have been done, and then if the, the file is stock or not. In most cases, what you'll find in the repository for the Gen 5 vehicles are all stock equivalent files from what I've seen just looking through it. Let's go in and take a look. I'm going to go and download a 2015 Chevy Silverado file. And I'm doing this specifically because I have a modified tune file that I'm going to compare it against. So let's go here and take a look at how we're going to work with the repository. So in the first case here, I'm going to go to the year and I'm going to look up a 2015. Now let's just say I'm working with the 2015 Silverado. That's the that's the, the truck file that I have. That's a modified file. I'm assuming that the truck I'm working with would be a 2015. So that's going to be the same thing we want to look up. In this case, it would be a 2015 as our year. The make in this case, we're going to go into uh, Chevy, so Chevrolet. And in the model here, we're going to select Silverado. If I type in S, it'll start to bring me down into that. Uh, that uh, category here, everything that's with an S. So I'm going to go down into Silverado here and select that. Now the engine, I could go in and select all kinds of different engine sizes. For the Silverados, there's a 5.360 and a 6.2. In this case, I'm just going to leave my engine here as all, and the transmission would automatically be an automatic because it's a Chevy Silverado truck. They don't make them in a manual. So we're just going to leave it transmission as all. In this case, it's going to allow it to sort just through the year, the make, and the model. Now we also have down below here a relevant search term. So if I want to go in and filter out, let's say there was 50 to 100 files, which there isn't going to be, but let's say there was that many files. And let's say there was a ton of stock files and there was files in there for superchargers and cams and all kinds of other modifications. We would maybe want to filter through all of the files based on a specific thing that we're looking for. So let's say in the Chevy Silverados, if we're looking in the repository, if there was a lot of files, we want to look up something that was based for a supercharger. Well, we could type in here supercharger, and then it would allow us to search and filter out from this year make model, also looking at the search term. Now, in this case, I'm not going to do that because there's only a handful of files in the repository. If, again, for most of the Gen 5 vehicles, it's not as abundantly populated as you'll find in some of the older GM 
Gen 3, Gen 4 applications. There is tons of files in the repository. Um, there's just not as many for the Gen 5s. So in this case, we're just gonna go ahead and narrow it down by these search terms. We're gonna click on our search repository here. Give it a second. It's gonna bring me to another. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't wanna miss any of the videos are going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.